So, I, uh, I was really looking forward to giving these two books a try out. Uh, I've wanted to read them both for a while. Um, let's see, we have Bram Stoker's Dracula, and this is a pretty cool edition from my library. It's got this, like, leather cover with all this embossed, um, uh, all this embossed quotes, I guess, from the book, um, from the front and the back. I mean, I don't really, I don't really need it, but hey, it's at the library, so why not? Um, and then I really, well, so I wanted to get Dracula because I, yes, hello, Nico. I really enjoyed the, um, Frankenstein. I really enjoyed Frankenstein uh, earlier this year. It was the first time I'd read that, and I, um, and so I thought I would give it another classic a try. Um, and then the Egyptian by Mika Waltari. I first heard of this book from a booktuber who hasn't posted a video in a while, but she's on, she's on, um, Instagram as introvert interrupted and um, she spoke really highly of the Egyptian um, it's another oldie but a goodie but I got two or three more holds off of my hold list come in at the same time so I'm gonna have to return these today because I only have a week before my vacation so This is uh, the Holy Catholic Church, the, the Holy Comfort Catholic Church. You can see the uh, great marbles on the trying to bloom, but they keep, the weather keeps being pretty bad. Um, it's, you know, 30 degrees one day, 70 degrees the next. And so all the, uh, all the fruit growers are pretty worried. The early, early blossoms are going to go away. And this is the side of the library. And it's the Paramount with a, a waste truck in front of it. <laughs> Yesterday, Dava Sobel, the author of The Glass Universe, uh, was speaking at UVA. Here's the front of the library. It doesn't open quite yet, but it's taking it around the side. So i got to return some books. Well, it's got a, a lot of interesting architecture. This is the, the downtown mall, the historic downtown, as opposed to the corner, which is where the university is, the academic village. I uh, have these uh, bike racks, they look like bicycle wheels. <laughs> so I'm going to take you around to the side. That round building in the back is the historical society. Here's the book drop. Robert E. Lee Park. Jay walk a little bit. And it's under a lot of uh, scrutiny right now because of um, its celebration of a 
figure on the other side of the Civil War. And so the city council decided after a long, long discussion to move the statue of Robert E. Lee elsewhere and uh, make it more welcoming to people of, of people of color. And uh, it's still it's still quite a debate going on about that, even though the decision's already made. Off to work. Well, it's pretty late on Friday. We hung out after uh, work with some friends of ours who were in town um, and they're celebrating their uh, 10th wedding anniversary. So it was really cool that they uh, that they wanted to spend some of their some of their long weekend with us um, but uh, the reason I had to get rid of the um, the Egyptian and Dracula was um, these two books came in from the holds list and they have pretty long um, waiting lines so um, I will at least have to give them a shot this weekend and decide if I'm going to take them on uh, the uh, on our vacation. So one of them was Unmentionable by Therese O'Neill. Teresa O'Neill? <laughs> uh, I saw it on a book Olive and her description of it made it sound really interesting. I am not a big Victorian um, person. It's just, um, well, I probably just haven't had the right introduction to it. I swear my my only introduction to it was reading, um, oh, a Kate Chopin work uh, back in high school and I was in a pretty rigorous program so we had to analyze it to death um, <laughs> so um, so I wanted to give this a shot because it sounded really interesting um, yeah and this one I s it's called the other slavery the uncovered story of Indian enslavement in America by Andres Resendez. I went to the um, American Indian Smithsonian Museum um, back uh, earlier this winter and I was really blown away by the curation. It was absolutely amazing. So if you are in DC and have a chance to go to it, I highly, highly recommend uh, the Native American Smithsonian Museum, third floor. Fantastic. And um, uh, this is about, well, it's, it's about the, the attempted enslavement of Native Americans in um, the early American history. I saw it on Rincey Reed's channel and, um, and like immediately put it on got on the holds list uh, so I'm I'm really looking forward to giving this a try um, yeah so that was my day uh, I'm super tired and tomorrow I will uh, have to I'm, go I'm going to go hiking and then maybe do a try a chapter tag oh I guess I could say a little bit though so you saw earlier um, that I'm reading Difficult Conversations book for um, some professional development reading at work. And so I had that with me on my lunch break, which I, I had a coffee and a cookie. It was delicious. No regrets. Um, but my other main book that I'm reading is Chocolat by jo Joanne Harris. And I am enjoying it. It's 
different so it's taking me a little bit to uh, separate in my mind the the book from the movie um, so I might have to read it twice to really get a lot out of it but I am loving Vian I absolutely love Pantoufle and I'm really enjoying um, I'm really enjoying the read I'm also into um, a manual for cleaning women by Lucia Berlin it's um, a collection of short stories and they are they are great I really liked the, the story about the laundromat at the beginning um, just describing how um, she is relating to other people who have to use this laundromat and why she decides to go to the um, the um, less fancy laundromat because there are more interesting people there <laughs> and um, yeah I'll probably take that with me on vacation like I said because it has a lot of southwest stuff and we're gonna be in the southwest so um, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. You can maybe see some flowers. There you go, some flowers. <laughs> and I won't get this up until tomorrow morning. So have a great weekend. Have a great Saturday uh, since I'm posting this in the U.S. And I will be back with another video later.